do? Put sugar, sugar in, in it. it. Do we have to heat it? Boil it. All right. And why did we have to heat it? I know. Um, so we we know. Should get, make it like Kids are weird. I mean, that is our motto at 8 to 6, is that kids are weird and let's celebrate the weirdness and let's celebrate how inventive they can be. I'm really excited to sit down and watch them think about ice cream in a way that they would never thought about ice cream before and that there's actually science behind ice cream and there's actually science behind the flavors that come up. My name is Tessie Topol. I'm the Senior Director of Strategic Philanthropy and Community Affairs at Time Warner Cable. I'm Carol Tang. I'm the director of the Coalition for Science After School. My name is Gerald Richards. I'm the CEO for 826 National, and we are here to debut the commitment that we've made with Time Warner Cable and the Coalition for Science After School, bringing creative writing workshops and STEM together. 826 National is known for their literacy programs, their after school homework help, as well as creative writing and also their wacky sense of fun. And what they've wanted to do is intentionally bring in some science. To create really fun and engaging creative writing workshops that bring the science to the students that we work with and really get them excited about science and technology, engineering, and math. All right, now let's scoop in to our cup. Ooh, ooh, that one's a great one. We've got two workshops we're piloting this summer. Um, one is on the science of ice cream, and the other is space exploration. We've designed our commitment to action um, to really pilot a few programs and then to take it elsewhere. We have eight tutoring centers across country, and right now the pilot is going to be in Los Angeles, New York, and San Francisco. They were trying to experiment what melts faster, ice just by itself, or does ice smell faster with salt or sugar or both? Okay, mine has defrosted. Oh, all water? Yes. Three minutes and 40 seconds. We know that future economic innovation in America is going to be based on science and technology in so many different ways. It's part of our everyday life. What about Bernadette's group? What did you guys try? Maybe you can help us solve this mystery. Fastest when we did was salt. Salt by itself was fastest? It's really about changing perceptions and offering math and science in uh, a setting where you wouldn't normally find it. The creative artsy people can do science, you can do science too. I hope they get a love of science, that they really walk out thinking that science is an important and integral part of their life. Um, but I also think that they will enjoy the creativity of it and that they'll bring that to any endeavor that they have. Yeah. I want you guys to come up with a scientist as a group and imagine if that scientist woke up one day and there was no salt. I think it's time to start thinking about how to inspire kids, not just how to give them the X's and O's and the specific technical skills, but they might have that, but they may still not want to be scientists. So I think bringing in the fun in outside of the classroom settings is really key. I would be a biologist because I would study living things and why those living things have those things, like how people have fingerprints. And if we're going to create an innovative society, You've got to put the creativity into the science. 